latest development coming in some fresh pictures coming in from Kurla, where the local office of one of the rebel MLAs, Mangesh Kudalkar, who's now closeted in the Eknath Shinde camp in Guwahati, has been vandalized by the Shiv Senek. So, these pictures coming in from Kurla in Mumbai, where the local MLA, Mangesh Kudalkar's office, has been targeted. We earlier had pictures coming in of Shiv Senex targeting a poster which uh, proclaimed uh, Eknath Shinde as the next chief minister. And now, another set of Shiv Senex protesting outside the office of Mangesh Kudalkar in Kurla in Mumbai. And reports suggest that some vandalism also took place. Uh, I will try to connect with Alisha for more details. Okay, Alisha is there with us. Alisha, if you have more details to share, what has exactly happened at the Kurla office of uh, the local MLA, Mangesh Kudalkar? Has it been vandalized or the Shiv Senex were just protesting against the rebellion that has been led by Eknath Shinde and Kudalkar, of course, joining it? Alisha. Well, yes, Abhishek, we can clearly uh, figure it out from the picture that uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are getting it uh, from Kurla Vidhan Sabha because uh, Mangesh Kudalka is a Shiv Sena MLA. He's representing uh, uh, Kurla Vidhan Sabha constituency. And now the party office which was made in the Kurla that has been vandalized by the Shiv Senek itself because uh, he has joined the Iknash in the camp. So this is not the first picture we have saw. We even saw that uh, Sada Sanvarkar who represents uh, the other uh, constituency, his also office uh, was vandalized. There was a black paint uh, that was uh, put up in his poster. So this is the uh, some anger that has been coming uh, some of the Shiv Sanik who is from the Uddhav Thakra camp and uh, uh, we are seeing many of the protests that has been coming in. But yes, what uh, transpired with this because uh, it's not only about the MLAs because uh, they uh, we know that Tekna Shinde who is uh, going with the ideology of Hindutva. We heard Deepak Kesarkar who is speaking to Republic clearly state there are some of the uh, injustice which has been done uh, been in uh, government uh, of uh, uh, with our uh, Congress and NCP because even uh, the letter that was given by one of the MLA Santosh uh, Shirshat who in his uh, uh, letter clearly said that he was not allowed inside the Matushri, he was not allowed inside the uh, Varsha, but uh, the MLAs, the other leaders from NCP and Congress, they were allowed inside. So this is something like injustice that has been done and now that is the demand that has been coming from the Ignash and the camp that they should get merged, they should get in rule with BJP with the same ideology that is Hindutva ideology. But the statement that coming from Sanjay Raut, now what has been said that uh, uh, Sanjay Raut who said that, that we are ready to fight, uh, whether to fight we are ready to fight uh, uh, whether in the uh, floor test or whether we are ready to fight on the road. This is statement. But now we have to wait and what what uh, decision that will be taken by deputy speaker because deputy speaker has already reached Vidhan Sabha. Uh, he is there present uh, in the Vidhan Bhavan, and uh, it is likely that is going to take a decision on the uh, on the application that, on the petition that was given by Uddhav Chakare camp for uh, disqualifying. 16 MLAs. Yes, Abhishek. Let's go to Piyush Ori. Right. Thank you so much, Alisha. In fact, uh, uh, let's uh, go full on to Mumbai, where a team of uh, four reporters is there on the ground. Uh, Alisha reporting from YB Chavan Center, where NCP is having its meetings. Uh, we had earlier Shivangi from rep reporting from outside Matushri, the residents of Thakre's and we have Piyush Ori reporting from outside the Maharashtra Assembly. Piyush, if you are connected and if you can hear me, please tell us what's happening there. Earlier we heard about Deputy Speaker Narhari Jirwal reaching the Assembly premises. Are we seeing some action in terms of uh, the request to suspend some MLAs that have been made by that has been made by Shiv Sena? Are you getting to hear some action happening on that front, Piyush? So, well, Abhishek, you know, uh, as, uh, you know, I'm speaking to you, uh, the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker, Darhari Zirwal, is still in consultation of what needs to be done with the 12 MLAs, you know, which the Shiv Sena under Uddhav Thakre camp uh, has said should be suspended. Now, uh, we are still uh, waiting for what decision that would be taken. But having said that, you know, uh, whatever decision would be taken by uh, the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker, you know, uh, earlier today, uh, in speaking to Republic, uh, the prominent Maharashtra Minister, uh, Deepak Kesarkar, 
uh, had already said that, you know, uh, if these 12 MLAs by chance would be suspended, this would be unconstitutional. Because uh, right now, as I said, uh, the Uddhav Thakre camp uh, does not have the required number. So if they are going to by chance uh, uh, suspend or they are going to dismiss these uh, 12 MLAs, it is going to be unconstitutional. So all this is going to take a very interesting mode of, you know, what exactly is going to happen. Uh, Shiv Sena under Eknath, Khat, uh, Eknath Shinde camp uh, is saying that now it is them who are under control, whereas uh, the Shiv Sena under Uddhav Thakre camp says that it is them who have the power. And today, as you had already seen, uh, Uddhav Thakre made a very emotional appeal again. And if you see, it was that traditional combative mood which uh, Uddhav Thakre exhibited, saying that, you know, it's not uh, power for them is not important, but fighting for the right cause is important. So you can definitely see that, you know, uh, the numbers definitely may not be with them, but uh, the Shiv Sena under Uddhav Thakre's ca camp is not willing to relent. As of now, uh, the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker is still uh, deciding upon what needs to be done with these 12 MLAs, and whatever happens, we are going to up uh, update you about that. Back to you, Abhishek.